My name is Ashish Kumar Jaiswal and today we are going to start chapter 1 for class 8. The subject is science and the chapter name is crop production and management. What is crop production? Crop production means the production of many types of plants which, uh, which uh, completes the need of our country. Uh, as you know, in previous days, our country was not sufficient in crop production. But after green revolution, the crop production became very high. And th uh, that is why the crop production is very important and also the management of these crops. The first introduction I have already introduced to this topic, the crop production means the various types of processes which are used in production of any crops. Now second topic, agricultural practices. The agricultural practices means the practices which are being carried out from ancient times and uh, this carry out to uh, various methods to produce crops. Uh, first I, have, I would have to explain what is agriculture. The agriculture means the growing of any plant for clothing, food or any other uses is called as agriculture. Agricultural practices means like for example crops. What is a crop? Crop kya hota? The crop means the growing of a plant on a large scale at the same place. Means ek area mein jab ek plant large scale pe ugaya jata hai to usse crop ho sakte hai. Jaise aapne dekha hoga bahut jagah paddy crop ugaya jata hai. That means uh, there uh, that for that place paddy crop is the uh, place for that. Next like for example wheat crop. In some areas wheat crops are uh, produced. So these are known as the crops. Yani crop, uh, crops are uh, at a particular place the growing of same type of plant. Now there are many types of crops in India which, uh, are, uh, which are grown on uh, continuous basis. Like for example the first Kharif crops. There are Kharif crops that means Kharif crop means the crops which are sown in rainy season, means start of rainy season and they are harvested at the end of rainy season. That means in Kharif crops the seeds are sown in June and they are, the plant is harvested in October. So for example uh, Kharif crops example is paddy or rice and uh, another examples are groundnut, cotton, soya bean. These are the example of Kharif crops. Yani Kharif crop what crop hai? Jo monsoon season ki start mein boi jati hai. Yani June mein boi jati hai. Or monsoon season ke end mein. Yani October, November mein ye uh, crops harvest ki jati hai. Inhe hum Kharif crops bolte hai. Uh, examples are paddy. Yani khaar ki kheti. Or coconut, soya bean. Ye sab Kharif crops ke under gat aate hai. Our next example is Rabi crops. Rabi crops, uh, they are sown after the monsoon season. That means at the start of winter season. At the start of winter season means in November. So Rabi crops are sown in November and they are cut in March, April. So the example of Rabi crops are wheat, gram, peas, mustard. These are uh, Rabi crops. These Rabi crops are uh, generally uh, they do not need many uh, monsoon rains like Kharif crops mainly depend on monsoon rains but Rabi crop does not need that amount of rains Kharif crop ko hume bahut jyada paani dera padta hai jaysay dhan ko hume bahut jyada paani dera padta hai lekin Rabi crop mein hume utna paani nahi dera padta hai hume ek निश्चित इंटरवल के बाद ही पानी देना पड़ता है यानी हमेशा वाटरिंग की आवश्यकता नहीं होती है रबी क्रॉप को जबकि खरीफ क्रॉप में बहुत ज्यादा वाटरिंग की कंटीन्यूअस वाटरिंग की आवश्यकता होती है जबकि रबी क्रॉप में एक निश्चित टाइम इंटरवल पे वाटरिंग की नीड होती है सो दिस इज हाउ रबी क्रॉप इज ग्रोन अनदर टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप इज आल्सो ग्रोन इन समर्स लाइक सम वेजिटेबल्स बट इन इन दिस बुक दैट क्रॉप इज नॉट मेंशन सो आई एम नॉट टचिंग दैट टॉपिक 
we are just studying two crops here kharif crops and rabi crops so now come to the next topic crop production how these crops are produced it is also a very essential topic for this there are so many processes involved in production of crops mainly there are six or seven processes that are uh, there for production of crops the first process is the processes are mentioned here on the whiteboard the preparation of soil sowing of seeds adding manures and fertilizers protecting from weeds and watering of plants storage harvesting these are seven processes which are used for production of crops the first process is preparation of soil meaning how to how you will prepare the soil for the production of the uh, plant the preparation of soil is done mainly by ploughing the field means when the uh, when a crop is grown then the field is disturbed the soil is disturbed so for the growing of next crop we have to first prepare the soil so for preparation of the soil ploughing is done with the help of a plough plough is an equipment jaise aap log hal jante hain it is an equipment which is made of wood or iron uh, that is uh, used for the preparation of soil ploughing what is ploughing your question will be what is ploughing ploughing is the turning of the soil to maintain to prepare the soil yani soil ko turn karna hi ploughing hota hai yani soil ko niche ke soil ko upar lana upar ko niche lana ye hi ploughing ka main uh, uddesh hota hai so ploughing of soil means turning of the soil with the help of a plough it can be done uh, with the help of a tractor also when a large field is there so the manual ploughing is very difficult so tractors are used in tractors the ploughs are fed and the ploughing is done the turning of the soil is done but after you uh, you you may you would have seen that after ploughing the soil there are some thick layers of soil the some blocks of soil are yani soil type blocks beech beech mein uh, field mein jama ho jata hai to us उसमें प्लाउविंग के बाद फिर उसको लेवलिंग करना पड़ता है मींस देयर आर सम इक्विपमेंट वुडन और आयरन लेवलर आर आर देयर व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर लेवलिंग द सोइल आफ्टर प्लाउविंग द सोइल दैट मींस टर्निंग द सोइल यू हैव टू लेवल द सोइल देन ओनली यू कैन स्टार्ट सोइंग द सीड्स सो दिस इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्लाउ एंड प्लाउविंग द सोइल एंड आफ्टर विद द हेल्प ऑफ लेवलर यू कैन लेवल द सोइल यानी फर्स्ट हमको सोइल को प्लाउ करना है उसके बाद लेवल करना है उसके बाद नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस स्टार्ट होगा सोइंग ऑफ द सीड्स यानी बीज को कैसे बोया जाए सोइंग ऑफ द सीड्स आल्सो इट कैन हैव टू प्रोसेसेस द सेम थिंग फर्स्ट मैनुअल प्रोसेसेस एंड सेकंड प्रोसेसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रैक्टर इन व्हिच सीड ड्रिल इज यूज्ड सो फर्स्ट मैनुअल प्रोसेस अ फनल लाइक इक्विपमेंट इज देयर और विद द हेल्प ऑफ हैंड्स व्हिच एवर मेथड इज मोस्ट सुटेबल द फार्मर्स कैन यूज सो a final like equipment is used generally to uh, sow for sowing of the soil at a particular distance from each other kyunki so, uh, seeds ka ek distance pe hona avashyak hai agar seeds pass pass rahenge to plants pass pass hogengi to unme uh, necessary ya essential growth nahi ho payega isliye hame ek particular uh, given distance pe hi seeds ko bona hota hai uske liye ek final like equipment use kiya jata hai but nowadays the machines are used seed drills seed drills are fit in a tractor and it uh, uniformly distribute the seeds in the field that uh, that means the distance between the seeds and the plants is maintained properly that is how sowing of seeds uh, are done either by manually or by with the help of tractors now come to the next after sowing the seeds you have to also measure adding man adding manures and fertilizers yani hame khad bhi dena padta hai agar seed uh, seed ko bone ke baad hame usme khad bhi dena padega us khad ko uh, dene ke liye hame sabse pehle soil ki testing karani hoti hai there are many labs in the districts so where the farmers can test their soil by the testing of the soil they can know that how much uh, how much nutrients their soil contain yani unke soil mein kaun se nutrients adhik matra mein hai kaun se nutrients kam matra mein to jaise baat hai jo nutrients adhik matra mein hai usse hame khad ke rup mein lene ki aavashyakta nahi hogi lekin jo nutrients nahi hai absent hai ya kam matra mein hai unhe hame 
नेटवर्स या फर्टिलाइजर्स के रूप में देना होगा ठीक है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अकेंड क्राइटेरिया ऑल्सो द प्लांट्स विच आर यू गोइंग सो सम प्लांट्स नीड सम एलिमेंट सम न्यूट्रिय एंड सम अदर प्लांट्स मे नीड अदर न्यूट्रिय so that is that are two criteria for giving up fertilizers first the testing of soil means which nutrients are present in the soil and the second criteria is how how much the requirement of the growing plant is there so jaise kisi plant ko nitrogen ki zyada avashyakta hai to usse hame urea lena padega because urea is a source of nitrogen fertilizer some plants may need phosphorus us plant ko hame phosphorus dena padega पोटेशियम उस कार्ड को हमें टाई या पोटैश देना पड़ेगा इस तरह से और इसी तरह से कुछ सॉइल में नाइट्रोजन की कमी होती है उसे हमें यूरिया या नाइट्रोजन फर्टिलाइजर देके पूरा करना होगा कुछ सॉइल में फास्फोरस कमी होती है उसे हमें फास्फोरस देके पूरा करना होगा कुछ सॉइल में पोटेशियम कमी है उसे पोटेशियम देकर पूरा करना होगा इसके अलावा कुछ माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय भी प्लांट्स की ग्रोथ में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट भूमिका निभाते हैं so when the soil is has a lack of micronutrients you can also add micronutrients to the soil such as zinc boron these elements are also necessary for growing it's very small amount but you have to give it for the uh, proper growth of plant so macro fertilizers can also be given and some micronutrients are also needed for the growth of the plants that is how the fertilizers thing is done now come to the next topic watering of the plants watering of the plants means kuch plants ko hum ek abhi humne mention kiya kuch plants ko bahut zyada water ki aashyakta hoti hai for example paddy or rice so paddy ke liye hame watering bahut zyada karna hoga yani monsoon rains if the monsoon rains is continuous and very proper so that is very difficult proper monsoon rains to come is very difficult so we have to uh, make arrangement for irrigation irrigation is done with the help of wells rivers dams with the help of jet pumps we can also irrigate our fields so this is how watering of plant is done with the help of irrigation if monsoon rains are absent but some plants like wheat etc needs a very few amount of water this is the amount of water needs at a regular time interval so that is that can be done without uh, that can be done easily with the help of these irrigation processes without uh, depending on the monsoon rains so that is how watering of the plants why this is watering of the plant is important watering kyun important kyunki watering jab hum plant ko dete hain to roots is water se minerals soil mein jo minerals aur nutrients hote hain wo isi water ke through जिनकी हमें कोई आवश्यकता नहीं है वो भी हमारे क्रॉप के साथ ग्रो कर जाते हैं उनसे हमें प्रोटेक्ट करना होगा अपने क्रॉप क्योंकि उनका ग्रोथ जितनी तेजी से होगा हमारे क्रॉप पे पे दे कैन हैम्पर अवर क्रॉप सो दैट इज वाई वी हैव टू प्रोटेक्ट फ्रॉम वीड्स वीड्स हिंदी में उसे खर पतवार कहते हैं यानी खर पतवार को हमें जो अवांछित पौधे हैं उन्हें हमें नष्ट करना होगा उस नष्ट करने के लिए द केमिकल्स यूज आर नोन एज वीडीसाइड्स वीड मीन वीड मीन्स वीड्स एंड साइड्स मीन्स फॉर द फ्यूचर इफेक्ट फॉर for eradicating the weeds the chemical used for eradicating the weeds are known as weedicides there are many chemicals are available in the market which are uh, used for the weedicides that uh, aids the weeds and the proper growth of the plants are the weedicides along with insecticides are also i am uh, mentioning insecticide because some insects also attack our crops uh, as you have earlier seen insects attack our crops and they uh, they are a very dangerous thing for our crop so insecticides are also used for the protection of our crops now next process is harvesting harvesting is done after the crop is completely prepared so that means hum hindi mein agar samjhe to fasal kaatne ko hi harvesting karte hain harvesting mein two processes hote hain ek simple cutting of the crop and next is threshing of the crop yani फसल को काटा जाता है उसके बाद थ्रेशिंग करके उसमें से ग्रेन्स को अलग किया जाता है और दूसरे को अलग किया जाता है तो ये दो प्रोसेस है 
तो इस दो प्रोसेसेस के लिए कभी कभी दो इक्विपमेंट की यूज होती है कभी मैनुअल होता है और कभी वन इक्विपमेंट यानी थ्री क्राइटेरिया सर दे रहे फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन द मैनुअल प्रोसेसेस फॉर हार्वेस्टिंग मैनुअल प्रोसेस में हम फर्स्ट फसल को काट लेते हैं उसके बाद उसे किसी इक्विपमेंट की सहायता से ग्रेन्स को और भूसे को अलग करते हैं मींस फॉर एग्जांपल वीट एंड हर्स का सेपरेट है सो दिस इज हाउ द हार्वेस्टिंग विद द मैनुअल प्रोसेसेस आर डन नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ मशीन द हार्वेस्टर इज पुट इन अ ट्रैक्टर सो द ट्रैक्टर डन ऑल द हार्वेस्टिंग इज डन देन अ थ्रेशर इज यूज्ड फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम द क्रॉप सो दैट इज द सेकंड प्रोसेस द मशीन and the third which is a way the uh, most modern way of harvesting in which a combined machine is used that is harvester combined machine which uh, done both the process in one particular time so it harvest the crop also separate the grains also so both the processes are done simultaneously this is harvester which are used in tractors which are used for uh, clearing large crops that is uh, very difficult in manual method but with the help of this combined machine the harvesting and threshing is done in combination very easily you can uh, uh, get the grains uh, clear now come to the last topic storage when you have grains in your home now you have to store it because uh, there are many dangers for the grains after harvesting also there are many dangers If you do not store it properly, the grains you can loss grains uh, uh, approximately 40 to 50 percent of crops in India are get damaged with uh, without proper storage. So that is a very difficult uh, thing to uh, continue. So we will uh, we will mention storage properly here. Storage is a process of protecting the grains after harvesting yeah. after harvesting we have grains but we have to protect it for a long time so this is done with the help of chemicals or some uh, cold storage are also there where the and uh, where the some other crops are put but storage is done mainly uh, in a proper manner to protect it from a moisture from humidity from moths from that that is how the storage is done uh, for that that we can use these grains for uh, a large amount of future so in future also